Look, I'm not going to lie. This is something that I didn't think I was going to have to talk about on this channel or in general. And I want to preface by saying that I am in no way trying to like stir the pot, blah, 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 anything like that. I have no intentions of doing anything like that. But as most of you are aware at this point, majority of episode one and all of episode two for The Walking Dead, the ones who live, were leaked and publicized everywhere over this past week. And it's it's a real problem that I really wanted to talk about in this video because there's been some bad actors along the way that made this problem worse. And not that I think anyone is a like a bad person if you're sharing the material. I think the real problem stems from the people disseminating their own recording. Like for instance, what I mean, someone just, I'm, I'm kind of jumping right in, but someone out there got an early screening for the walking dead, the ones who live, I believe it was episodes one through four that they got and they screen recorded them and sent them out to someone from there. Unfortunately, it is the internet. So whoever shared it from there, which we're going to talk about that in a minute, cause it matters. But from that initial leak, it got out. And people were sharing it like crazy because they had it. Now, I'm not going to lie. I've seen these leaks. I saw majority of episode two's leaks on Twitter. So I, I don't know if this makes me a bad person or not, but I'll be honest with you. After I saw a ton of leaks, I eventually reached out to one of the people who was leaking them and said, hey, at this point, I've seen it all. If you have a file, I'd like to watch the episode. I'm an AMC Plus user, all of that stuff. But I don't want to be spoiled things that I've already seen uh, or like, you know, what? I don't want to be spoiled something and not like follow it up if anything. And these were all high quality things. Someone had it, whatever. Regardless, I, I'll take blame. I went to the source of one of these and I found it and I saw episode two in its entirety. So I think in, in that sense of the word, I'm slightly part of the problem. But also in the same vein, I was just scrolling on Twitter and I found this accidentally. Like, this wasn't something I went out and seeked. Seeked. Is that a word? I don't know. This isn't something I wanted to see. It was completely undeserving. I was just scrolling. And that was the case for many, many, many people out there. I wanted to preface it by that by saying I'm not perfect for having this discussion. As a matter of fact, in the past, I after things have aired on AMC Plus, I'd put them in like YouTube Shorts or things like that before sometimes the AMC actual TV version came out. So I am no saint. I'm not saying I am. I just wanted to talk about this problem at large. I think the real bad actor here is the person who leaks this stuff out before you know, before it comes out. And that's really the biggest thing. I think it's a little different and I'm not trying to like give myself credit at all. I, but I, I think the real problem is when stuff like this gets leaked for a show that hasn't even aired yet. The show wasn't out and all of episode two, the entire, well, the entire episode was on Twitter. Even if I didn't reach out to someone, I could have easily found it anywhere. It was on Reddit. It was everywhere. Regardless, that's the problem. The show wasn't even out yet. And these people, a lot of people saw episode two in its entirety before they had the, you know, the pleasure of seeing episode one, which is, in my opinion, just such a wonderful episode. And same with episode two, after seeing it in these unfortunate circumstances, they're both great episodes. But if, if you're being leaked something in episode two, before you see a lot of the monumental, monumental stuff, I should say, in episode one, that's a real problem. And that's really unfortunate for a group of people who worked so hard on this show. And I'm not, I'm not going to be one of those people who's trying to like, you know, fangirl over the cast and crew and all that stuff. I have no interest in doing that. I don't. But I can easily sympathize with people who spent a long time working on this just to have it be leaked by a ton of shitheads like a couple days before it aired. And that's a real fucking problem. It really is. So I think one of the biggest things is the biggest perpetrator. So someone who screen recorded it and sent it out. That's the biggest thing. But then the other biggest thing is someone – and look, I, I'm going to preface this really quickly by saying – I've always been an admirer of Clash PR's content. I always have. I don't mean any shade on him. I don't mean 
he is a bad person. I don't think he should be like canceled or anything like that at all. But it was a bad decision for someone with that big of a platform to air this stuff in the form of sh- especially short form content where you don't have a choice. You're just scrolling and then you see something. If you're just scrolling through a short form platform such as TikTok or, you know, Instagram Reels or even YouTube Shorts, and you're forced upon this content where it's leaks for a show that hasn't came out, that's just not cool. I don't know what Clashed was thinking by doing something like that. I understand someone like him in, again, I'm not trying to throw shade, but the whole entire premise of his YouTube content is short form cl- content that's kind of like, I hate to I hate to sound rude, but when you're doing those like edits and things like that, and I've dabbled in edits before, so whatever, I'm speaking from experience. You're kind of just chasing clout, you're chasing views, and it really is, in a sense, like a more a, a more easy way to grab attention and gain a following and things like that. It's not as authentic. And and I don't again, I, I don't mean it in a bad way, but I also understand his thinking in that, oh my god, I have these leaks. I gotta get the everyone's been waiting for this. Like I, I want people to see this, blah, blah, blah. Like I understand from a content perspective. You want to build an audience with stuff, I do, but also that's like the the lowest form of of creating content, especially in such an enriching community as the Walking Dead's community at large. It's just not right. It's not what you do. And again, I don't I don't think that makes like clashed a bad person. I don't think anyone should, you know, wish ill harm on a person like that's that's not right. People are people. Mistakes happen. You know, bad judgment calls are made. And that's the beauty of life. Life goes on. We we learn things, blah, blah, blah. Like, for instance, totally unrelated. The other day at work, I made a really big mistake. And guess what? It was bad. The only way you learn sometimes is by making a bad mistake. Because now you're like, I'll never do that again. And like, that's the thing with this. Yes, Clashed did something that wasn't the best because he had a big audience. And, you know, he shouldn't be taking advantage of that by posting stuff that hasn't even come out yet. But again, people make mistakes. People learn from things like that. That's okay. The real problem is, I think, early screeners to begin with. And now, look... I was just at an early screener for episode one of the show, so I could barely speak on this to begin with, but it is objectively true that when you have stuff like this, get out. And look, leaks are inevitable in the 21st century. It's it's very hard to stop that because there's a million and one people working on these projects. There's Everyone has you know one of these. It's easy to get stuff out. But the real problem is when you have early screeners, when you have, you know, influencers and people like that getting episodes early, like four episodes at once digitally to their homes early. Look, that's that's a real problem. And again, it's kind of like everyone's interwoven in the problem. So AMC is also similarly at fault because they know we're in the 21st century. It's not like we're in the Stone Age anymore. Everyone has phones. It's very easy for something like this to happen. And them putting this out there ahead of time, I I guarantee you they all knew that this was a risk that was going to happen. It's The Walking Dead, after all. You know how many years of leaks things have been? Like, there's a whole leaking community for the show. So, like, it's it's bound it's bound to happen even from the top down. But the only way to fix it is to avoid screeners, or if you're going to do screeners, invite people out to do them. And yes, it's more expensive to do that, but if you really want people to do press releases for your show, that should be paid marketing that you expense already. A lot of these companies, especially like AMC, they have large advertising budgets, and one of the best ways you could advertise a show is to give those influencers and people like that a good experience watching it. Like, I, I'm not an influencer or anything like that, but like when I saw the early screening, that was a fantastic experience, but I could have easily, easily picked up this phone and recorded it very easily. All they said in the beginning was, please don't do it. Like, and I, I get it. That comes from the heart, but I could have easily done it. I recorded a lot of stuff afterwards. You know what I mean? Like anyone could have easily done it. The only way to stop that is to invite people out somewhere. If you're going to do press things or you just don't do them at all, but I think for products like this, shows like this, you kind of need to. If you're going to do it, invite them out somewhere and don't allow phones in. That's really the only way you stop the problem. Like, yeah, okay, at that point, someone could like 
talk in a video like this and then explain like, oh, this happened, then this happened, then this happened. But really the only way you're going to stop the problem is to control the problem. And then sending out, you know, screeners and things like that early that people can watch on their computers, it the sky is yours. You know what I mean? You could do anything with that. And that's really where the problem lies. I don't know who initially leaked it, but that's also their problem. And then there's bad actors again. Not And again, it's not a judge on character, but there are bad actors in the influencer space and people like that who have shared what was leaked. It's all part of like one big wire. Like, you know what I mean? Like the show, The Wire. It's all part of like one big system. So it's not like you could point the finger at Clash. It's not like you could point the finger at, you know, The Walking Dead leaks or whoever. Doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Or like, again, and who am I to say? I've watched the episode, the leaked version of the episode before because it was out, blah, 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 all that stuff. So like, there's no one right. There's no one wrong, blah, blah, blah. It's just one big problem. And the really only way to fix it is from the source down. That's all I wanted to talk about in this video. It's not right that these leaks are out. In no way, shape, or form do I think anyone should be deserving of seeing those leaks. It's not right. But it happened. Now we all know what happens in episode two. Um, I'm thinking about doing an early review of it, but I think given the circumstances and what happened, I'm just going to save it for after it airs this next upcoming Sunday. I just, I, I don't know. Like, yes, I know what happens and all that. And sure, that gives me a little bit of a leg up to make a review and all of that stuff. But in the end of the day, I, it's not, I don't think it's right for me to be talking about this one the way I did with episode one, because I think the circumstances are a little different. We, no one was really sus uh, ex expecting, I guess I should say, to see episode two, and we all did. So, yeah, that's that. That's all I wanted to talk about. I want to know your thoughts on this down below, so be sure to comment. Let's start a healthy conversation down there. And with all that out of the way, thank you again so much for watching this video. Until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.